Hello dear ones, it's Alice, I am of the stars, and the topic of this video is what to do if other people's desire elementals simply won't leave you alone. Okay. Um, this is what to do, uh, and, and it comes about, the need for this comes about from someone else having a persistent thought about you. Um, and so, it's a kind of a brooding thought, that constant habit of a thought of a particular kind that to do with the lower uh, triangle, the lower mental body. Sometimes it's a thought that they're, they're your boyfriend. That'll be a good one. And that thought, repeated over and over again, even without consent from you, results in their desire elemental, spending all its time with your desire elemental in your vicinity, in your, in your energy field. So the thing to do is to notice this extra energy and the thoughts that it has and so forth. These thoughts are automatic thoughts, involuntary thoughts from the other, from the other person. And this, it's important to understand that this desire elemental is composed of elemental essence, which in itself is not an individual. So absorbing it and transforming it into the uh, energy signature of your own energy field is not like a sin or anything bad. It's okay. It's what happens quite a lot, just automatically. So if it's there, it's yours to transform, as I heard once from a very good healer. And so transform the energy that's alien, including all of the thoughts that are involved, uh, into your own energy signature. Just, just absorb it into your own um, elemental essence. And then what will happen to the other person who is, who's in a sense lost their desire elemental? They'll just, uh, from the atmosphere, from, from the astral atmosphere, other uh, elemental essence, astral matter, will come and take its place. So they won't be without.